everybody, Lara from Fairy Fox Design here. I have missed you guys, it's so good to be with you. I can't wait to show you guys a couple of really fun things today. We're gonna take a look at how to make a two-stroke rainbow instead of just a one-stroke rainbow. And then we wanna talk a little bit about what we're hoping for in life as well as what we're lucky that we have. So St. Patrick's Day, I love it. I'm so excited that it's coming up. And this is a great design that you can use in your St. Patrick's Day painting. But more important than that is what is at the end of your rainbow? I wanna know what is it that you guys are hoping for? Is it a pot of gold? Is it a lucky shamrock? What is it that you're really waiting on. Are you guys trying to get a new job? Are you guys just hoping, like me, that the summer ends up being a summer we can paint this year? What is it that you are hoping is at the end of your rainbow? And the second thing that I want to know from you guys is I want to know what you feel lucky about. What is it that is in your heart that you are just so grateful is in your life? And one of those things for me is you guys. I am so happy that we have a chance to be together and hopefully we can be together more often coming up. Uh, definitely, because I've got so much to share with you guys and I hope that you're doing well. So definitely shoot me a comment and get ready because we are about to learn an awesome design. Now most one stroke rainbows try and fit all six colors in a single stroke. Here, I'm gonna teach you guys how we can use two one strokes in order to create a single rainbow. So this is a pink, pink, yellow one stroke. And now I'm gonna load up the second half of the rainbow. So purple, blue, and green and create a really nice rainbow. Look how cool. Oh, I love this. If we want to blend just a little bit more, we can get the yellow back on our brush and with just little simple blobs, <laughs> we're just creating the gold here. We're blending out the bottom of that rainbow and we're just getting a nice little, really it looks like the cloud, right? <laughs> now we can use that brush or we can hop down to a round brush. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull two teardrops from the sides. Then we're going to come down and we're going to do the same thing. So we pull one teardrop and one teardrop. Then all we have to do is create a beautiful shape that connects those two. And we want these two curves, whatever they end up being, to kind of match. I like to go ahead and draw my highlight right there. And now we're ready to hop up to a bigger brush. And all we have to do is come in here and fill in all of the white space. Now's the time that we get to add the magic. So we're loading up some white on a really thin, this is a three, so I would use a two or a three round brush. And then you can add really whatever extra little highlights you want. We want to always do our human check. So we've got our design here, and now we wanna see, okay, there's the girl. How are we gonna make this fit on her eye? And what that does is it gives our design placement. It says, hey, I matter, and this girl isn't lost in the design. It's not just a sticker that somebody put on her cheek, like this was designed for the human face. So what we wanna do is we want to echo the same motion down here and pull it into the crock of gold. Now, whenever you have two different pieces of line work, it's really nice if we can connect them. So we're going to put a few little dots right here, a few little dots right here, and then we can have a nice sparkly star right there on top of the rainbow, and then just connect. One of the really fun things that we have is we can take body balm or whatever, they make some products actually for this. And then this is a clear, chunky glitter that's just loose, but you could also use a gold, which would be amazing. And we can just come and put that right on top. Oh, you guys, happy St. Patrick's Day. And definitely, I want to know what you are feeling lucky for. What is in your life right now that's bringing you joy? Put it down in the comments and let's all uplift each other a little bit. And I hope that you're finding your own pot of gold. Bye guys.